Oh yeah? But can you do this? So, you're a beginner on YouTube, and you want to know how to make your videos better, right? No? Wait, you're here just because you're bored? Right, either way, today I'm going to be covering all the basics of editing and giving you a well-rounded package which will hopefully get you on the right track to making some fantastic content. And who knows, maybe even a viral video. <laughs> Stop it Finn, you strange man. I've already made four separate tutorials on all the points I'm making today. So if you want more detail on all the individual parts, then please feel free to go check them out in my editing playlist or just on my channel. Before we start, we're going to need to talk about your editing software. On one end of the spectrum, you have Premiere Pro and Vegas Pro, the two main powerhouse softwares for editing YouTube content. And on the other hand, you have HitFilm Express and Filmora 9, which in comparison are pretty cheap or free, but are also pretty limited in what you can do. DaVinci Resolve sits somewhere in the middle as a free software that is apparently really powerful. In today's tutorial, I will include all the softwares I've mentioned above and try and create a quick guide through the basics for all of them without getting boring. I, I hope. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go. The basics. The very first step to any part of editing is to have your gameplay or footage recorded. For whatever kind of content you're creating, once you've got your content in its own file from your screen capture or camera, simply drag the file into your project area. These look roughly the same in every software, so this should be easy. Once you've done this, you can drag your footage from the project window to the timeline, just like I drag my videos out too long. Now you need to bring out the old scissors and commence cutting your clips. Simply press C on Premiere Pro and click on the area that you want to cut. On Vegas Pro, you hover your playhead wherever you want the cut and hit S on the keyboard. On DaVinci, it's the same as Premiere, but you press B. On HitFilm Express, it's C for slice tool. And finally, on Filmora 9, you have to click that scissors icon right there. A word of advice from me? When cutting clips, look for the high points in the audio section. Usually cutting mid-scream makes for a good laugh. Or mid-laugh. Once you've got everything cut up to a rough standard, you should watch over the footage again and again and be completely brutal with it. Get Ramsey up on this shit. Be completely honest with yourself. Start cutting out bits which you think might only be funny to you. Because remember, you want your audience to be in on the joke. I learned this while discussing YouTube with a friend of mine, Ren. It's a slow trickle. You start a video with uh, an inside joke that six people are going to get in the whole world. You're just, it's not going to do well. No one's going to stick around. You've got to generalize yourself and make sure everybody understands the joke. Polishing the turn. After an hour or two of chopping and an eternity of questioning your life decisions, we now have a super cut. This represents the final video in its barest form. From here onwards, we'll be adding layers and layers of polish to this. The first thing on my to-do list is always position and scale. This is where we can direct the focus of the viewer through the power of editing. In Premiere, you just find a section that you want to zoom in on. I'm going to cut it here, click it, and head over to Effects Controls, where you'll find position and scale variables. You bring up the scale and move the position around. Easy peasy. Have enough time on the game box. In Vegas Pro, you click this little icon here, which then brings up a window, which has the settings in there. You mess around with this rectangle with the F, it'll correspond with the video that's in the viewing area. In DaVinci, you go to this inspector section thing and then change it there. For some reason, I wanted to keyframe it just to see how it goes. And all you do is click these icons here, move forward a couple of frames, and then change the position and zoom variables and it will create that next keyframe for you. But you don't need to do this. In HitFilm Express, it's a similar story. You head over to the controls panel on the left and you may see this motion blur effect, which I'm going to switch on because it just looks nice. And then I also added keyframes. Move forward a couple of frames and then change the variables again. And would you look at that, it's got its own little motion blur, which really adds to the smoothness. Filmora 9 is really simple. Make sure that you've got the part that you want to change selected. Head over to this window up in the top left. You can only change the position and scale variables, so it's pretty simple. <laughs> Phew. So with all of this, I recommend keeping in mind that every crop you make should be purposeful in directing the viewer's attention. Sometimes it's also good to just have movement in the visuals. 
As you see with a lot of discussion channels and vloggers, slight crop-ins are commonplace. They're there to just add some visual movement. For those who cannot hear good. If you, like me, can hear absolutely fine, then you might be looking at this title and thinking, <laughs> What the shit is this guy on about, okay? Who the fuck is this guy? And why am I even watching this shit? Well, boy do I have some news for you. Subtitles are the newest trend of the 21st century, and also the biggest fucking bore to make. So how do we do this, Finn? How do we edit subtitles and enjoy it, Finn? Help me, Finn! Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. I got you. I highly recommend that you check out my existing subtitles tutorial if you haven't already. It really seemed to hit home with you guys. But I'm gonna summarize here for you. Alt and drag, copy and paste, whatever duplicates the text you've made so you don't have to keep making them from scratch. On Premiere, to type in your subtitle, you press T on the keyboard and click anywhere to create text. Then play with the settings in the effects controls. I'm going to leave the settings here so you can pause and copy them if you want. In Vegas Pro, you head to Media Generators and then go to Titles and Text. And then I added the default one just to see what I could come up with. I had a bit of a problem with Vegas in that the font that I changed in the settings didn't actually correspond with what was being shown in the video. Apparently it's a bug with certain fonts, which is pretty disappointing as I use this font for most of my videos, but it's not a big deal if you don't use this font. I'll put my settings here again for you guys to copy it if you want. In DaVinci, you gotta right click and add a subtitle track right above your main track. You head over to the right here and click create caption. This then gives you a default template to work with. This is what I found to look best. In HitFilm Express, you press T again and type in anywhere on the viewing area. And then once again, I'll put my settings up on the screen. Also in HitFilm Express, I managed to keyframe the text so that it pops like in my subtitle video, which looks really smooth. In Filmora 9, go to the Titles section, then head down to Titles and select the default option and drag it to the timeline. So click the text layer and the settings will come up. You then click Advanced and then a pop-up window will show where you can change the settings. Here are the settings once again that I found look best. With all of these softwares, there's a way to duplicate the text, either by alt dragging, control dragging, or copy and pasting. So save yourself some time and do that, please. Transitions. How you get from A to B has never been so important. Transitions can make or break the pacing of your videos. So when you do them, figure out a theme. For example, on this horror game video, I used camera glitch effects to add a VHS tape kind of feel. I think it worked pretty well. The most common and often multi-purpose transition to use in your videos will be the whip pan from left to right or right to left. In Premiere, you create an adjustment layer. You do this by clicking this icon and it'll have the option right there. Pull it to the timeline and drag it to about 12 frames in size, then go to the effects tab and find directional blur. Add that on and then keyframe the bastard at the beginning, middle and end like this. Finally, go back to the effects panel and find a push transition and then slap that right in the middle of the two clips and drag it to size. In Vegas Pro, I had a lot of difficulty finding a way to do this without downloading presets, and trust me, I did a lot of looking. The best looking thing for me to do here was to add a fast push effect and rely on the sound effects to carry it. In DaVinci, a very similar process to Premiere. Firstly, I added a push transition effect in between the two clips, shrink it down to the size you want, then head over to effects, add an adjustment clip, and then head over to Open FX, add Directional Blur. This can be changed in the Open FX menu on the top right. Change the border type to Replicate, just in case, and then keyframe the blur strength to the highest in the middle and then the lowest on either end. In Hit Film Express, you add a push transition from the effects menu here, and that's literally it. One thing I loved about this was the option to add motion blur, so no adjustment layer here. 10 out of 10 for you HitFilm Express. 10 out of 10! In Filmora 9, similar to HitFilm, there's a section dedicated to slap on transitions. Now, I know for a fact that you can get better ones than the ones I'm going to use here. This one is way too fast for my liking, but, you know, 
It is what it is. My rule of thumb with transitions is to keep them punchy. If the viewer doesn't notice them, then you're doing a fantastic job. Get a buddy or a family member to look them over and then ask them if they see anything that stands out. Music and sounds. Possibly the most important part to any edit is the sound effects and the music. Now, idiots may tell you that this is easy to do, but I'm here to tell you that it's not easy. This is hard. This is the final boss battle of every edit for me. It always decides whether it makes them or breaks them. So treat them with some respect. You son of a bitch. Like I've been saying, if you want a full tutorial on this, please go check out my sound effects video. I think it applies to about every software anyway, and it was a pretty fun video. So firstly, all we do is slap a sound effect or piece of music into our project window. Use the in and out function, which is I and O on the keyboard, and then drag it on into the timeline from this little audio symbol here. This is very, this is very captive. Oh my in there. Oh, yeah. In Vegas Pro, you have to right click and then open in trimmer. There was no in and out function that I could find, so I used this button here which basically takes the audio from where the playhead is onwards and puts it in the timeline for you. There is a way to get the bit that you want out, I found later after recording. All you have to do is highlight the bit that you want and drag. So assuming that you've done that, plop it into the right place and you're set. <laughs> right, right. Right. In DaVinci, you simply double click the file in the project window and it'll pop up for you. Like in Premiere, use I and O on your keyboard to select the area you want. Now drag that into the timeline. Volume control is a bonus here and is really easy to use. Just drag this line here up and down to find what suits your video. And this is where he kept him. Oh my, in there. In HitFilm Express, just like DaVinci and Premiere, you double click, use the in and out function and drag it to the timeline. Volume control is super easy, just like DaVinci. This is, where he, this is where he kept him. Oh my, in there. In Filmora 9, once again, you double click and use the in and out function. It's super easy and simple. Volume control, again, is like the others. You drag it to suit you. This is where he, kept, this is where he kept him. Oh my, in there. Oh. Okay, okay, uh, where are we on the edit? Let's see. 12 minutes, Jesus Christ, fucking hell. Are any of you still even here? Am I, am I talking to no one right now? So in summary, Premiere, great. HitFilm, good. DaVinci, good. Vegas Pro, okay. Filmora, okay. Read the description for my full opinion on this. I've written it out in more detail. So don't you go disliking this video just because you prefer one or the other. Don't do it. Anyways, I'm out of here. It's about that time. It's a, it's a long edit. If you want to know how to export your videos, I'm going to leave a bunch of links in the description, which are going to be super helpful for that. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate your support. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, please. No.